Hi, Mark Donovan here from HomeEditionPlus.com. Today I'm going to show you how to replace a single pole paddle switch. We have a paddle switch um, that's been on the house for about 20 years and it's just kind of worn out. So we're going to take a few minutes to uh, show you the process and how to remove the old one and put in a new one. So the first thing we want to do is turn off the circuit breaker to that light switch. Next, verify that indeed the switch is no longer functioning. Now, using a common screwdriver, a flathead screwdriver, we're going to remove the faceplate uh, wall covering. And you can see we have some insulation material around each one of the uh, switches just to prevent air from coming in uh, since we live in the cold climate area. We'll take the insulation off around this particular switch that we're going to replace. This stuff is pretty sticky. You may have to wind up replacing this material with a new one. Get these very inexpensively at any home improvement center. Yeah, we can probably reuse that. And so now I'm going to take out the screws. They're actually holding the switch um, into the um, electrical box. And I'm just going to kind of pull it out a little bit so we can you know, see what we're going to be working with. And there's the single pole switch. Even on a simple circuit like this, it's always a good idea to take a couple pictures of the circuit, in this case the switch, before uh, we work on it. That way we have a reference point in case we get confused or lost as we're wiring in the new circuit. This one's pretty simple, but again, better safe than sorry. So with this particular circuit, we have a hot side. Um, and we have a side that feeds the light, which is outside light, and then we have a ground wire. And so it doesn't really matter in this case um, which wire goes where. Uh, they're both black here. Uh, one is a source wire providing power into the switch. When we close the switch, the source power feeds through to the other side of the switch and then feeds to the light fixture itself. And then we've got a ground wire here. So we're going to remove these three wires and then we'll wire up the new, um, new switch. So in this case, the contractor uh, that installed this switch elected to basically remove some of the shielding uh, from the end of the wire and then plug it into these holes here where it kind of locks in place. And so to remove the wires, there's a little bit of a tab here that you've got to push down on like that, and then that can release the wire so you can pull it out. All we got left to do is take off the ground wire now. So for the ground wire, I'm just loosening up the green nut and then just slipping the ground wire off. And there we go. Ready to go and put in the new light switch. All right, so I've attached the copper ground wire to the green nut. I've got the rotation of the loop on the copper wire, ground wire, I'm going clockwise, same direction as the nut. That way I'll be sure to have a nice tight connection that won't cause the ground wire to unravel as I tighten up the screw. And there it is. Next part's even easier. So since we've already have these stripped wires here, and it doesn't matter which one we put where, uh, we'll just slide them in, and make, kind of pull to make sure they're locked, and we'll do the same for this one. Make sure it's locked. We could have attached them to brass screws, but since these are already um, pre-trimmed and they're already nice and straight, you might as well take advantage of the light fixture capability and just slide them in and make sure they're locked. So now we're ready to reattach the light switch um, to the electrical box and then we'll test the light switch itself. So what first we want to do is just kind of push the wires in far enough so we don't have so much tension as we're trying to tighten it up in. And then we will attach it uh, to the wall. I do notice though the screws that came with this are too short. So I'm gonna wind up um, using the old screws uh, that had a longer reach to make sure they um, connect into the electrical um, box itself. 
So as you can see, I've replaced the shorter screws with the longer one so we can make sure we can get this in and secure to the electrical box. So now with my common screwdriver, just kind of pushing this back in. Starting to uh, attach it to the electrical box itself. Just going a little bit on the top one, then I'll do the same for the bottom. Get them both started. And then we'll just tighten it up firmly against the edge of the sheetrock. I'll make sure it's properly centered, and then we'll snug down those screws. Don't want to over tighten it, else we'll kind of crunch, in, crunch into the uh, sheetrock. There we go, that's firm, really. There we go, that's firm. Okay, now I'm going to put my insulation material around the new light fixture. Just kind of press it in place. And now we're ready to attach the faceplate cover again. And there it is. We'll go turn on the circuit breaker and we'll give the light a shot, see if it's working. All right, so we'll go and turn the circuit breaker back on. And there is the outdoor light fixture we're controlling with that switch. So we'll turn the switch on. There it is. Working like a charm. And it's off. So that's it. It took me maybe 30 minutes to change that light switch. Um, if I had hired a contractor to come out and do that, I probably would have waited weeks for them to get out here and probably spent at least a couple hundred dollars to have them make that uh, simple fix or simple change. So for the cost of a light fixture that you can get any home improvement center and a little knowledge and a little safety advice in terms of making sure you turn off the circuit breaker and again taking a picture of the circuit before you start disconnecting the wires, you do those things and you'll have no issues with replacing a, an old worn out light switch like I just did. Anyways, hope you found this video useful. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you get notified for my next video.